Hey there, Stat Nation. <clears throat> Quick tip. When do you use P hat and when do you use P for the standard deviation for a proportion? Easy mistake to make. Let's go over this real quick, okay? So in a representative sample of 1,500 voters, 800 said they would vote for candidate A. Is there a chance that candidate A will win, having more than 50% of the vote, in other words? Okay, no problem. So first of all, 800 divided by 1,500 is about 53%. So if you went the p-value method, this is what you're doing, okay? You're drawing a normal curve, and we're going to put 0.5 here, and we're going to put 0.53 here. 0.53 is 800 divided by 1,500. The standard deviation is going to be 0.5 times 0.5 divided by 1,500. Why is that? Because a p-value is developed assuming HO is true. And if you assume HO is true, HO is that the candidates are even 50%. That's why. There's an assumption that 50% is, is the truth. So that's why that goes there. All right. Now, you're going to pretty much just pump it into your calculator. Let me slide that right over here. And you're going to go... Um, stat tests and you're going to go uh one prop z test item five i've already put it in there greater than and we're going to hit the calculate button boom 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 bam right there and you're going to get another curve there about 0. 0.0049 so point uh point 0. 0.0049 is going to be your answer to that okay so um in this particular case the Z-score was 2.52, or 2.58, excuse me, 2.58, and the P-value was 0 0.0049. So there is very little chance that this happened by chance. There's a pretty good chance that this candidate is going to win. Now, the other way of looking at this is through the eyes of a confidence interval. A confidence interval makes no assumptions, none whatsoever. What it does is take the facts that you have, which is 53%, and says, all right, 53% is what we think this candidate's percentage is, plus or minus, and we know 95% is 1.96. And the standard deviation will be 0.53 in this case. See the difference? 0.47 over 1,500. Confidence intervals makes no assumptions, just takes the facts. So it will use P hat. OK, and of course, if you get the answer to that, you're going to go back to your calculator and you're going to go um, stat tests and you're going to go one prop Z int, which is item A, and it should be all set up for me. Ninety five percent confidence. And we got it. So in this case, look, the lowest we think it can be is about 51%, the lowest we think it can be, which is right here. The highest we think it can be is about 56%. But in both numbers, they're over 50%. So we're 95% confident that candidate A will win. All right, there it is, the difference of when you use P hat and when you use P for the standard deviation for a proportion. Good luck.